So today we will explore mid-side processing in the modular environment with the help of the mid-side module from VCV, which is a free module, a part of the so-called fundamental collection. So basically we have a stereo input and a stereo output, and we have access to the mid signal, which is the sum of both left and right. And we have access to the side signal, which is the difference of both left and right. Both the mid and side are send and return channels. Um, in this case, so we can send the mid, for example, through certain processing and then back into the return input, the same with the send. So here I have a stereo sample. I can connect it to the left and right input and then from the output to the mixer. And we can listen to the original audio by connecting both the mid and the side back from the send to the return. So now we have the original sound, but we can also listen just to the mid signal by disconnecting the sides, or listen just to the sides. And in this case, uh, um, on this module, we have also the width control which is basically a level, uh, level control for the side signal. So if again I connect both of them, I can turn this into mono, basically lowering the level of the sides or enhance the stereo. Now I'm sure that your minds are already filling with all sorts of patching ideas. So let's really have a look at a few things we can try. So here I have a sequence with two uh, Befaco kick all modules. I have the div sequencer sequencing both of them. This is going through some delay with Chronoblob 2. Again, stereo into a reverb plateau. This is how it will sound like. Right now I can take this voice and run it after the reverb. So the stereo signal run it after the mid side module. And again, I will just connect the mid and the side. So we get again the original signal. But for example, we can take the mid signal and run it first through some saturation for extra crunch. So let's use thorns from flag. And I will take again only the mid signal from the send send it to thorns and return it to the return input. And now I can add some saturation only for the mid signal. Now we can send a side uh, signal through some delay for even more texture. So let's use the delay, opalach, the delay from VCV. And I will take again the sides from the send into VCV and then back into the return. Maybe we'll take the mix all the way up, change the delay time. A bit more feedback. So now only the side signal is going through the delay. We can also take the signal from the delay through a low pass filter to add even more movement. So I will use tangents from Volt, send the delay to the low pass input, take the resonance up. And now I can use, for example, an LFO to make this movement for me. Again, let's listen to the original signal. So I will just disconnect the mid and side and connect them uh, directly. This is the original sound. And now through the processing, this is the mid, this is the side.
right so it's a great sound design tool I have here also a pad ready I have here the note sequencer sequencing polyphonically bleak and orbit from Sturmel there is a um, panning the different voices the polyphonic voices left and right so we get again a stereo signal this is going to the mid side module and I have a tremolo set on the mid signal so I'm sending the mid signal through a VCA and as you can see the VCA is being modulated so the level of the mid side is being modulated this is going back from the VCA to the return input and I have the side signal going through another delay Sangster in this case which adds also lots and lots of crunch Sangster is from Lindenberg Research and again back to the return input and all of this is going through some filtering with feline from Valley so let's have a listen to this Another thing we can try is using VCAs to send the mid or the side to various effects. So here I have a generative sequence going on, I have a looping envelope on Rampage and I'm modulating the rise and the fall with sample and hold. It's a sort of a basic Krell patch. This is sequencing through a quantizer to basal oscillators and I'm sending them through a VCA and also the MS module, the mid side module. For now, there is no processing going on, so we will listen to the original sound. Right, a sort of a basic Krell patch. Now here I have a VCA and an attack decay envelope controlling this VCA and this is going through a delay through chronoblob so only when the VCA will open the sound will go to the delay for this I have here a clock divider that we will use to trigger the envelope so for example we can use the falling output of rampage so whenever the envelope is in its fall stage it will send out a gate that we will use with a clock divider and let's use for example a divided by three clock to trigger the envelope and now I'm going to send the mid signal first through the VCA and the delay and then back into the return input so now again as long as this VCA is closed the mid side will not go through the delay but now it was open and now it went to the delay and again we can do the same for the side channel so here i have another vca and another envelope that will, uh, will control this vca but in this case I'm using Wolf, a wave shaper from Vult and this will go to another delay, this case from VCV so let's use the side channel, sending it to the VCA and Wolf and the delay and then back to the return and now let's use it divided by 5 clock for example So now again according according to the clock divider and the VCAs the voices will go to the different processing chains another thing we can try is taking the mid or the side but not bringing them back to the decoder, to the send, uh, to the um, return inputs, but rather sending them to another channel. So here I have something ready. I have here a sort of a bass drone with psych. This is going through a chorus again to make this sound stereo. 
and also through a filter, the stereo filter from Veli, Feline. And I'm sending the side channel. Of course, this is going to the mid side module and the side channel is going to a reverb, to plateau. But it's not going back, as you can see here, it's not going back to the side return input, but it's going to another channel on the mixer. So this is, first of all, just the mid signal. As you can see here, the mid is going to the return, and I'm using just the left output because in this case, the left and the right are the same. Again, the mid uh, channel, the mid signal is the sum of both the left and the right. But now let's have a listen to the side signal through the delay. It adds lots and lots of space. So again, we don't have to send the mid or the side back to the decoder, back to the return. We can send them through different processing and then to a completely different channel. Another interesting thing you can try is side chaining the side with the mid. So for example, here I have an arpeggio going with the phrase sequencer from Impromptu, sequencing the FM operator. This is going through some delay and a reverb again to make the, this sound stereo. This is going to the mid side module. And you can see that the side um, channel I'm sending to oppressor from um, flag, which is a sort of a side chain compressor, and then back to the side input or return input. But the mid, I'm sending it, of course, to the return because I want to listen to it as well, but I also send it to act as the side chain signal for this compressor. So the mid is side chaining the side, which can be quite interesting. Okay, now this can work also really nicely on the master out. So here I have a patch ready. I have a few drums sequenced by the gate sequencer. So I have a kick drum with deep from Hora. And I have a hi-hat with the hi-hats from Hora. And a sort of a snare with some noise through a band pass filter. And a few more noisy hi-hats. I have here a bass with psych going through some chorus, a filter, and I'm side chaining this with a bass drum. And I'm sending a copy of psych to a reverb, and I'm also side chaining it with a kick drum. And I have also an arpeggio going. I have the note sequencer from JW generating chords that I then arpeggiate with the ARP module from Hampton Harmonics. And the voice itself is Interzone. All right, so this is the patch. And I have the mid side module, maybe I will zoom in a bit, the mid side module at the end, almost at the very end of the chain, I have only a fader at the end of the chain, just so I can control the levels. But after the mixer, you can see the main output of the mixer is going to the left and right inputs of the mid side. And for now I have no processing going on. So again, this is the original sound. 
But for example, we can now process the mid and the side separately so we can add compression just to the mid signal. So I will use the compressor from Squinky Labs and I will send the mid to the compressor. Now, by the way, we listen only to what's happening on the sides. You can see there is no kick drum. There's lots of reverb, some noise. So now only the meter will compress. Let's take the attack a bit down, release also a bit down, and threshold until we see here some movement. something like this so now only the mid side uh, the mid channel sorry is being uh, compressed we can also add some saturation and um, I will use the Briato saturation to the mid side as well after the compressor oh, yes and again this is only for the mid Now what we can do with the side, we can EQ it a bit, so I can add Decline from Vault, which is a sort of an EQ. Send the side to the left and back. And now, for example, I can bring up the high frequencies a bit with the high shelf. Take down the lows. Again, if we listen only to the side. Right. Really nice. And we can also control the stereo width of the mix with the width control. So again, all the way to the left will be mono. But we can start turning it to the right and increase the level of the sides and by that also increase the stereo width. This really brings out the sound, really the sound becomes more organic and alive. So you can see that there's a lot more to explore with mid-side processing, especially in the modular environment. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.